So this is what we've got. We've got a motor that now steps like a stepper. We have the start of a screw extruder or a thread rolling extruder. And instead of using all of these bits and pieces to hold together to make it into one, what we're going to do is bore a hole through the center of here. Take all of this stuff off here and then put a bearing on the bottom of there. This is my current carriage. It's a pretty messy one. Mount that onto there with that bearing that's on there. And then, instead of having all of this in a belt and a, and a pulley that sits on top of this like this, driving it all, we're going to mount this straight to there. So it's going to end up being this like that, this, and then this. And then there'll be an arm that comes up from the, the back of here, or around the edge of here, comes up and secures, and we bolt, the motor, bolt that to the motor here to secure it all in place. Now at the moment, See it. The motor weighs 53 kilo, uh, 53 grams, and this piece here, which is obviously going to be modified, is 16 grams. I'm using ceramic bearings in here because they're considerably lighter than standard steel ones, and they don't need lubrication. At, at high speeds and ceramic bearing, bearings on here to I mean it should reduce rotational, uh, rotational inertia at least with here, with here the little screw driving piece is going to be made out of a bit of titanium bar so that'll be nice and uh, light as well so that hopefully we don't have a whole lot to have to spin because we want to be able to spin it up quite fast and stop it quite quickly and spin it back the other direction really really quickly so this mount that's on the top is going to have to be a little bit strong. I might have to make that out of aluminium. But basically, if all goes well, and when I say well, I mean like semi-okay, there is a chance that we could make the extruder itself sub 100 grams. which I think would be quite nice, um, being what it is. So just back for reference, here's the old Bontech one, 61 grams. So, you know, like bolting this to the Bontech would almost be a very similar weight. But um, I think this makes the most of the fact that I can spin this quite quickly. Like this is, uh, I think it's about 7,000 RPM is about what it does, or it might be a little bit higher, I can't remember. But this is a, this is like a, almost a cross between a BLDC and a gimbal type motor, a high current and a, and a gimbal type motor. Um, so the wires are quite small, maximum of about uh, 10 amps and a holding current of like half an amp. But the size, size wise, it's considerably bigger. So that's a, NEMA 17, there's a set of NEMA 17 coils, so comparatively it, it's just gigantic, I mean that's the, that's the rotor from the NEMA 17 in comparison, so we should have much more torque um, we should have much more RPM. We should be considerably lighter, being the fact that even just the coil of the NEMA 17 is more than the than the new BLD, B, BLDC. And 
the core of it is almost the same weight. So we're reducing a lot of weight. We should be gaining a lot of um, response, basically. So that should enable us to use just like we like I'd like to. And with minimal retractions, with pressure advancing, um, you know, I should be able to get away with less than a millimeter of retraction on this. So it should be able to to do the business. But basically, integrating this into here. Um, so this is this is the this is the spired extruder that's sitting on Thingiverse at the moment. Um, I'll try and put a link in the description. Um, I just roughly printed it out. Nothing too, nothing too soon. There's a bit of a line through here, which we can't have. There must have been a bit of a, a problem. But essentially, this is TR300 uh, frozen resin. Uh, it's good up to about 220 20 degrees Celsius. So it's and, and, and it's pretty strong um, so the idea is keep the weight down and not have too much weight hanging off everywhere 